if you don't know by now, you should. My name is C.M. Punk, and what I am is straight edge. I'm drug free, I'm alcohol free, and that means I'm better than you. Does that sound familiar? Those words I spoke for the first time over 20 years ago, and they became the foundation of my career. And I can sit here in Nashville, Tennessee, and feel pride that that foundation grew into such a career that I have managed to inspire the next generation of professional wrestling. Some of them are sitting in the locker room right now. Some of them became wrestlers because of me. Some of them became straight edge because of me, hell. Some of them sit like I do. And then there's MJF. He tries to walk like me, to talk like me, he could never think like me. But when he beat me in my hometown, twice, you would think that I would be furious, that I would be mad. But to tell you the truth, Max, I'm proud of you. Where you stray from the path is you fail to retain the knowledge of the lessons that you are being taught. Maxwell Jacob Friedman fancies himself Piper in Portland, Brett in Calgary, and Punk in Chicago, when in reality he's just shitty little Max from shitty little Long Island. The foundation of Max's career has been a ring that he has used to beat opponent after opponent, and it's a ring that he won with help from other people. So now the situation is this, because of last week, shout out to John Moxley, thanks for the assist. I now get to pick the time, the place, the date and the match for my rematch with Little Max. So we'll get right to it. The time, probably right after sundown. The place is Orlando, Florida. The date is March 6th. The pay-per-view is called Revolution. Which leaves us with the match and I started to think about some of my toughest matches. And I thought the situation that I'm in, maybe you put me in a cage. No, but let's be honest. I've seen Wardlow, I'm sure he can climb a cage. And Max can still run. Max can still climb out of a cage and run from the lessons that he so desperately needs to be taught. Piper in Portland. So I go back into the vault and I think of these, these matches that I've had with legends, matches that were hard. And the cage matches seemed like they were easy because believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I've won more cage matches than I've lost. And losing got me thinking of what are the toughest matches I've ever lost. And the ironic thing about losing a tough match is that's when you learn. Those are the lessons that I really retain because we need Max to learn some lessons. So I thought back on the toughest matches of my career, matches where I've literally left pieces of myself in the ring. And I think, Piper in Portland, Piper in Portland. Max, you wanna be tethered to Piper so bad, you're gonna have to be tethered to me. And two days removed from the Hallmark holiday, Valentine's Day, I'm left 
without a Valentine, and it's very poetic that I get to ask you the question, Max. Piper had his, now I have mine. Maxwell Jacob Friedman, will you be my Valentine? And I know Max is backstage right now, pissing his pants, because nobody wants to be in a dog collar match. Sometimes they take years off your life. I promise you they take years off your career, but that's the goal. That's the lesson you need to be taught, Max. So I'm going to ask you to come out here right now, because there's one more thing I need to tell you, and I want to look you directly in your eyes when I say it. single most dangerous match you could ever get involved in. And it takes me back to 1983 of Greg Valentine and Roddy Piper. I want you to take it all in, Max. And I want to leave you with this. This picture. You see it, Max? I'm sure you remember it well. Possibly the greatest day of your life, and to me, it was Friday. <laughs> Sunday, March 6th, Orlando, Florida, Revolution pay-per-view is gonna be the worst day of your life, and to me, it's just gonna be Sunday. The price you paid to see me on this day pales in comparison to the price you will pay on March 6th. The canvas I sit on is not going to be stained with your shitty spray tan. It's going to be stained with your blood. unnerved. Oh, and he's walking out. We've only had one dog collar match before in AEW history between Cody Rhodes and Mr. Mr. Brody, Brody Lee. Lee. Yeah. Absolutely. And now we're going to have another one. Sunday, March 6th, live on pay-per-view. CM Punk MJF dog collar match. 